This week on the House of Red Show, we hear about the charity dinner, Network Rail's Corporate Social Responsibility Day, some hot chocolate and tea from Wittards, Sean talks about his valuation day coming up, I have a fight with a cameraman and my top of my head loses, and as always, much, much more. Hello! Welcome to the House of Bread show one more time. We've got... Will. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sean! Sean on the sofa. Uh, it's this time of year where I apologise as we go to the wide shot. It's um, the time of year of me in shorts. Brace so yourselves, I apologise if the light... Um, is off. You, you, you know, could have sell a bit first. Too much know. brightness coming off these bad boys. Um, right, so yes, welcome to the vlog. We didn't have one last week um, because it was a bank holiday and we were still recovering from a fantastic charity dinner. We were indeed, Jack. What an amazing event it was. Um, and Sean's sitting to, to my left. So uh, Sean's basically the whole planning and the whole logistical aspect of it. And then we shared a bit of the auctioneering we together. Did. It was but good fun. Um, I just really wanted to highlight what a fantastic event it was. Thank you for everybody who came along. Yes, um, thank you very those much. Those that did um, donated money, uh, either buy the ticket or in our raffle, in our auction. Uh, and they all got, a lot of people got our new posh um, prospectus, yes. which is now available. Um, and we reckon, Sean, that we've probably... We, we, we've made over £2,000 £2, in profit. Oh, wow, fantastic. Which is fantastic. So that will that will make a massive difference in the world that we're involved with. So I want a big thank out, a thank you out to people like Chris Lewis, who um, was very good to host the he events was. for yeah, us. Yeah, he was, um, he was. Gainer, who helped us make the whole thing happen. To everybody who bought Brian, a table. Everybody yeah. who mentioned to their friends that it was on, and so they bought yeah. a table as well. Just everybody who turned up on the evening and did their hands in their pockets and gave us a little extra bit in an envelope so that's our whatever. third so, charity yeah. dinner so we're looking forward yeah. to our next one our next, next one yeah. yeah which will be 2017 <laughs> <laughs> 2035 <laughs> 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 yeah it was a, a lot, of, lot of fun there was dancing i think yes, there's, there some, was. there's evidence yeah. of that well yeah. done dave Great so movie. that was absolutely fantastic it was. It last was. Friday, was. and a good excuse not to have uh, done a vlog for a week. I think it does. And it seems yeah. funny that it's over a week ago. It, it seems like week yesterday. Ago. It is. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Spot on. Right next on our list, as I peer over there, is Network Rail. Network Rail. We had uh, a load of guys. Seventeen in on of them. Wednesday. Yes. And there were some up in the unit, and there were some down in the garden. Yes. Uh, thank you, Angela and and team. Um, this was a second visit for some of them um, to House of Bread, and we basically divided them into two groups. Um, everybody came up here to start with and got involved in sorting out all the clothes. They moved all our toiletries and all our catering. Did the food bags. M massive amount of work, did the food bags. Brilliant. And then I took four or five guys down to the garden, and again, there's some there's some pictures, and uh, they laid two paths. Mm. Um, did a load of work in the garden for Matt. They're, they're coming back again in September, because mm. Angela said to me, we had such Great. a fun time. They really yeah. enjoyed it. And um, that was part of their corporate social, social responsibility. responsibility days. Yeah. So if you're watching this, and like I always say, part of a business or know a business person who needs to do their corporate social responsibility days, Get them down to us because we've got loads for you to do More. and it is great fun, obviously. Yeah. If people are doing loads of work and then wanting to come back because they had fun. I, th I think it's great that they want to come back. Yeah. I think yeah. that, that really says how, how much fun they've had when they've been yeah. here. No, yeah, they were great. great. That's lovely. So back to Sean. You've done your charity yes. dinner, you've got yes. that over and done with. <laughs> yes. You've not slowed down, you've not relaxed. Well, not really because on the 14th of May, May 14th? May 14th. That's a joke uh, yeah. from way, yeah. way back in if, the vlog. If you can tell me the vlog, you might get a free <laughs> cup of coffee on May <laughs> yes, the 14th. Yeah. <laughs> Give um, us the number. And that's the Trinity Cafe. Ooh. And hoping, yes. I'm still not confirmed yet, but I've just got to do a little bit more work on it. But if I can get it, I'm hoping to do a full English breakfast. Full English We've done breakfast. it before. 
and, it and we can a do it again. success. You, you, you may yeah. have done it before. And we'll <laughs> 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 yeah, we're going to do a full English breakfast. Well, so, that'd be awesome. um, so, and that also a shout out to anybody who is working in an environment where they may have like sausages, bacon, and yeah. stuff, and and they and they want we'll take to. Your food uh, off you, yeah. yeah, we'll take yeah. the food off you. But uh, if Ooh, not, yes, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll find a way of doing it. And. You Sorry, quite finished, well, sorry? Talk, I was just, just, just in the middle. I was trying to restrict him from saying too much later yeah. on in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you, viewers. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I'll just carry on. <laughs> so on the 21st of May, we have the valuation date with Ooh. Charles Hansen. What, off of, off of Flog It In Your Attic? <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, it gets worse. It we've got we've got to slip that in, in the conversation with it. Flog it in your attic. Flog it in your attic. Yeah. So um, yeah, so looking forward to that. Um, <laughs> as of today, I'll be sending out information to people. So if you want information, give me a shout at Sean at hobstafford.co.uk, and I'll send you some information on yeah. that about what, where, and all that. So you can put it up in your workplace. And or remember, your, yeah. I am financially better off since I took my coins. Well, you made eight hundred um, quid, nearly a thousand pounds from going to evaluation, a free valuation, and yes. eight hundred pounds. You must remember this um, is purely. For you, yes. Usually, you would have to pay for a that valuation, valuation and they could cost yeah. quite a lot. Yes. So these are free valuations. They're free valuations, and, and all we, it, will they? All, all, well, it's a free valuation. All we ask for is a donation because obviously we're putting the event on, yeah. so it's now a so donation of what of what you think that goes to us. It doesn't go to Hanson's valuers; they get nothing for it. And then if you want to sell it, that's something you'd then take up with Hanson's and there'll be a fee for selling it mm. but, but, uh, and all that. But they'll auction it for you um, and give you the best advice. And, and, uh, am I right in saying that there's the ale and cheese... Cheese and ale is oh, on the, the same day. Cheese and ale will be on the cheese same day. So yeah, so you won't go hungry. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a free sample. Or thirsty. <laughs> Slater's Brewery. Is there, that it, so. Sean? Have you got anything else? Uh, yes, I have. Because oh. uh, um, last month, end of last month, we were in Asda. Yes, we were. and um, thank you, Dan. It, yes, thank you very much, Dan. Um, and we're back there again yeah. the end of this month. So I'm giving plenty, of May. plenty of plenty of warning. So 27th and 28th of May, we'll be there. We are collecting food and we're collecting money. So um, bring both with you. Well, it's this time of year where you get loads of food from Christmas. Yes, and loads of food from harvest last year which sees us over into this period. Now it's this period and you do get charity fatigue with people gifting stuff and all sorts, but it's this time of year where donations really slow down. Um, yeah, every it, it happens every year, and we're in contact with other food banks, and they're in exactly yeah. the same situation. Yeah. So, if you do want to help us, now is a great time to give us food because spare it really tin, will shove be it in helpful. our bin. But but the thing is, yeah, just just one tin, one tin helps mm. us. So yes. if everybody puts just one tin in, a hundred you know, tins would be we're, we're, <laughs> well, <laughs> well great. A, a, a forty foot <laughs> truck load would be wonderful. Yeah. But no, but seriously, anyway, hit the bell. Is that Wait. it? Yep. Yeah. Can I do Wait, this, please? Right, last. And finally, there's probably some objects that Will wants to talk about here. We wanted to talk about, um, as well as being in Asda, yeah. um, we're in the Market Square. You've got these, it's not about these. Oh. And in the Market Square, we like to sell, as you know, bric-a-brac and all that kind of stuff. Now, our Market Squares have been more successful than we were prepared for, really, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, they have, because we thought we've got so much bric-a-brac, we better go in the Market <laughs> Square and let and people have a chance to buy it. And they were really successful. And They've let us raise quite a bit of money. They have, month, yes. But we're running yeah. out of bric-a-brac. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so we need you guys yes. to give us stuff that you don't want that we can sell. And and it's and it's just a matter that I can't really book another one because we stood there with half empty tables <laughs> with yeah. going like please buy something. So yeah, mm. yeah. If anybody's but got stuff, again get in contact is with us. Anything. Yes. Not something that would have been destined for the bin because nobody's gonna buy that because you would want to get uh, wanting maybe, to throw maybe, it away. Maybe, yeah. But it's something that you were probably thinking, Oh, I don't need this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But I can give it to House of Bread and they can get something out of it. That's the important yeah. bit. Yeah. That we can actually get something out of yeah. stuff you don't want. And just, just give us a call and say what you know, if you want to just say yeah, I've yeah. got we'll this, it is. is it any good to you or yeah, whatever? We'll you know, we'll we'll, 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 we'll we'll give an assessment. Yes, an over the phone <laughs> assessment. It's gonna cost you. No. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's that. The last bit I'm gonna add on to my notes from now on any other business. Any other AOB. Business. Now, these little hot chocolate things yes. and instant tea instant tea remember that it's weird enough um this is where star of the week comes oh, in oh yes because night and foods are a group 
who dish out food to people? Well, they make they they are involved in the production of the powder. Oh, right. They're, they're, they're involved in the production of the powder. Yes. And they make it, the powder, and bottle it or can put it into containers and, and uh, for various different uh, very upmarket um, organisations. And one of them uh, is Wittards. And they contacted Wittards. us a now, couple of... This is of, posh stuff, isn't this it? This is stuff, yeah, posh stuff. You get this in Fortnum's, Harrods. Chelsea, um, it says on the front. So, yeah, yeah, loads of places yeah. where Wittards... And their own shops. Um, anyway, the thing is, they had some new product and they basically needed to get rid of it for one reason or another. And they approached us. I know why us. they got rid of this. Yeah. And, <laughs> uh, so they've gifted it to us. So we've got something like 260 boxes of e oh, in each this box. Pile of boxes. Sean has got actually 12. wanted to pile them up behind you, yeah. and they would have covered the just, whole thing. It, there are just gone from the yeah. floor to the ceiling. Yeah. We basically of it. now there can is. provide for our friends, um, and perhaps with with future aspirations for other catering opportunities in the future. Um, <laughs> A, a year supply at least <laughs> of the three items that you see us and with us. instant tea and, the and they, yeah. all for, they often um, offer us other stuff as well yeah um, so this will so be an ongoing relationship so we've got a year supply of uh, the, these that's good isn't but it because we can use it the star of the week comes in yes he's not here and not somebody here. somebody not sitting too far away from me forgot to take a picture presenting it he's in Falmouth at the moment Donald 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 who who? <laughs> what did Donald do to Donald, him? You know Donald. I know Donald. Donald. Yeah, Donald. 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 Scottish Donald. Donald. Uh, yeah. Donald Who? Um, <laughs> took a day off, shall we say, or yeah, took some, some time, time out off. to go with Dave to collect all these massive yeah. boxes, pile them in his van, and bring them back Brilliant. here. Brilliant. And not only does he help us every Wednesday taking everything down yes. to House of Bread, he also did this. It's going to get me in the eye um, on Thursday, and it was great help. So. Donald, you are Hob Star of the Week. Hey! Which he did actually pip you to Star of the Week because you spotted a typo in one of my emails. I thought I was going to get it. <laughs> you, you can see the expression on Sean's face. Did there. you? Did you think you were going to get it? I, no, did weren't you, you amazed you... that I spotted a typo in somebody else's email? <laughs> it was well, embarrassing for me. I'm, I'm just not you. believing that <laughs> bit. But <laughs> you expected. But anyway, Donald is <laughs> deserving Donald's of this. Hob Star of the Week. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. I think, yeah, we've, we can, you can definitely tell we've had a week off there. <laughs> you know, we're not quite as I, sharp no, as we no, usually are. No. And we're not that sharp anyway. Um, don't forget to listen to our radio shows on yes, Sunday. Yes, two shows uh, now. Stafford FM, uh, 107.3 Stafford FM. Gardening Guide in the mornings with, with Matt or Will. Or Will, um, and guests. With guests. And then our House of Bread radio show, 4 till 5 in the afternoons. Yeah. Fantastic. Brilliant. We are busy people. Yeah, yeah we've got yeah. all sorts going on. Hmm. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching. As always, thank you to Will and Sean. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Sure. Thank, thank you, you to Will. the gym upstairs, who's only just, just turned started on his playing music. Faithless again. Jim. Hello, Jim. We will see you <laughs> next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Yeah, they're all made in England. It's amazing, rich, cool yeah. I mean, you lose these. You, you. Well, House of Bread now. These are lovely. Tells you Very little. Very little. Right, right, here's the moment of truth. Here's oh. the moment of truth. Right. Do you... Oh. <laughs> Ikea. I'm Straight gonna... to the bottom. <laughs> Ikea. Now we'll go to Fiona Bruce. <laughs> <laughs>